hello everyone welcome back to our channel and today we are going to talk about how to edit woocommerce shop page using elementor for free so as you can see we are at wordpress and in wordpress we are at pages over here but if you go at dashboard this is the dashboard right so what we are going to do we are going to add a plugin which is called woolantor so what it does like woocommerce is more mostly for e-commerce websites and on wordpress and elementor is where you are going to edit so edit your website so there's a mixture for both of them like full enter so if you go add plugins and go on the top add new what we need to search full enter so full enter simple and you will end up over here as you can see i have already installed it and uh, if i go and click on this right now and uh, you have your things like whatever they are providing you like contributors as you can see over here reviews and even compatible uh, up to 6.1.1 so all those information are over here and this is free so install update now so we have our update for this uh, plugin for right now i have already installed it so yeah after that what do you need to do we're gonna go towards template if we click on template you will end up seeing something like this and i have already opened that up on my second tab right so what we need to do we need to create new page new template right so click on add new and choose your template and i'm just gonna go with the normal one like page and name your ne template if you want uh like um you know new page i'm just gonna write new page for this tutorial only and create template once you click on that it will take you to the elementor page where you are going to edit a new page so you can see over here you will end up over here and you are going to create elementor website very easily so first thing first obviously we need a header over here right up like an image on top for our you know uh woocommerce shop page so we have our image over here and if you drag that over here you can see that we can just add our picture from uh, like just drag and drop or from over here we can just set the size if you want you know i'm gonna go with the full or uh, obviously for this tutorial this is a simple tutorial right we can add caption if you want we can add link if someone click on that image they will can like go towards a specific website or any website you want you can just set the style if you want like the width and the maximum height and every single thing borders if you want or not and opacity and if someone hover how it will look like so i'm just gonna try to add some image in it and uh, i'm gonna go with the normal one like uh, you know let's go with this one why not so i'm just gonna insert this media and you can see that we will end up over here and you can see image size is this over here and if you go over here on the style you will have more option if someone hover it how it will look like i'm gonna do this like this and you can see how it will look like right if i go back again drag this out you can see how it will look like so it's all on us how we are going to do and uh, if you go in advance you will have more options more ideas to add but obviously this is just a tutorial for our purpose and after that what you need to do you need to go back because obviously we are going to edit this with WooCommerce right so uh, not WooCommerce Google enter so what you can do I just created a section one more section where I'm going to add some things which I want and I can just search anything anything which I want to add and uh, we have our favorites if we want to add favorites and there is one more option uh, like text if you want to add text or add a space between them you know over here as you can see we can just do that from like just drag and drop from there and how much space i want so you can see over here we can do that very easily after that we installed wucom woolentor right so we will find multiple woolentor elements add-ons from here if we search wl only you can see that we have our woolentor add-ons like testimonial product filter i don't know why i did that uh wait um i don't know why it's not going up so universal product layout product tab ad banner special day offer this is all made up uh templates by woolentor 
for your e-commerce website so if you want to build sh like your shop page this is the best way to do that so why because if you have added your you know products and i will tell you how you can add your products and uh, what you can do you can just see over here universal product layout and if you drag and drop from like from there to here it's very easy right you will end up seeing all your products over here and on the left side we have our menu options like whatever you can just edit from over here so you can see you don't need to edit every single thing you just need to drag and drop and you can see we have our three columns over here if we want more we can just do that four columns very easy but obviously we are going with the third three only right now same high dice box if you want that you can just do that if you want otherwise just go with the simple one you have your layout tabs or sliders like you can just add sliders from over here query settings you can just filter by like recent product this is the re recent products or you can just select that like sale product top feature blah 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 and you can just write that over here like top feature and all those stuff uh let me click on this again you have your columns again in this oh no sorry you have your product limit also here like you can just add three and if i go with the four you can see we have more option and if you go on the layout we have uh, columns and all of them are over here if i want to add like text over here and i'm gonna write recent items and i'm gonna select that go with the center i'm gonna select that again and i'm gonna go with the text color like red or green it's all on us whatever we are going to do right and i can just set the size if i want you know all those stuff but for this tutorial i'm just going with that normal one like why we are using bull and tour right you get the idea what i'm doing right now after that we have our content settings like style how you want to style like style 2 this is the style 2 it's very similar style 3 style 4 the most of them are very similar so high title hide price hide category so what it does so you can see plant accessories right if i want to hide that it might be in category right so you can see all the categories are gone but i want to add category i don't want to show you know uh this so you can see this line this border i don't want to show this so this looks good and you can just hide rating if you have a rating right down below if you want to add that you can also do that you have your pricing you can just hide that or you can just hide the title but we don't want that right so i think it's good after that we have our action button uh settings so what is action button if i close this you can see some things is gone so what it does you can see we have our add to card and quick quick view these buttons have been added from over here and you can just change the style if you want as you can see style have been changed and one more time style has been changed you can just set the position if you want the right left side or right side on top or anything anything you want you can do that and it's only one tool like i just showed you like universal product layout so bull and is very strong for your shop uh shop page so in my opinion go for this go for this this is very simple and you can see that we are doing everything in just one click so it's very important image setting you can just set the image like single image if you want and if you have multiple images for your products you can also do that and you have your countdown timer so if you want to do that you can also do that you have your styling over here all those stuff and uh, like background and product badge and all those stuff you know it's all on you you can just change the background if you want for those but i don't want that and you have your advanced position and every single thing like padding or etc so this is how you are going to use your universal product layout and if you go ahead and click on wool enter again um, wool enter you can see we have more options over here like image marker store feature and one page slider product curvy and product uh, accordion so all those stuff which you can add to your website on your shop so that's it this is all you need to know how to edit uh woocommerce shop page using elementor for free i hope you understand every single thing thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next video bye bye and take care